Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Acre Homestead. We are going to give this house a little bit of a reset. We had some construction things happen over the last two days, which has caused this house to have just a nasty layer of dust. Can't really see it on this counter here, but let's see if I can show you in here. Do you see all that dust? Because they were cutting into the floors. The hole in the floor is fixed and they fixed the transition there. And then we also got almost all the doors installed except for the master closet doors and the laundry room door. So you can see now we have a beautiful door, but it's also left just grime and debris everywhere. So this house needs a reset. It needs to be cleaned. We also have two closets that need to be organized. I'm gonna cook up some steel cut oats so we have a nice hearty breakfast for breakfast. My favorite way to do this is in the Instant Pot. I have two cups of just steel cut oats in here. And for every cup of steel cut oats, we're gonna put three cups of water. I prefer steel cut oats over regular oats. Josh likes regular oats more, so I tend to cook those more. But he is already off to work and I've already made up his breakfast for the week. So this is a two cup measure. So I'm gonna put three of these in here. And I'm making enough steel cut oats for me. Today is Thursday. I'm making enough to get me through the weekend probably. Now we just take our oats, put it in the instant pot. And we're gonna cook on high pressure for five minutes. And now breakfast is going for us. Since I'm gonna be kind of in cleaning and organizational mode, this pantry has just been a catch-all during, during canning season. And we need to get this under control. It's just the entire counter has just been taken over. It's been just dump everything in here and let it be. So we're gonna reclaim this pantry and we need to make sure our bulk storage gets taken care of. And this just needs a little attention along with this closet over here. So over here, we just had this door installed, but they did not bore a hole for the handle. So that still needs to be done. But this closet has also just kind of been a catch all. And I wanna get this under control and organized today as well. We are gonna make some dinner together. And what I am craving, or what I just think sounds really good, is rice and lentils. We're gonna do a carrot salad and some sort of protein. I'm not sure the protein yet. So I did go downstairs and do a little grocery shopping. We got some rice, a bunch of red onions to caramelize, our lentils. I only have garlic infused oil up here now. So I grabbed another just plain old olive oil. I need to get some meat out to the bar. So I think maybe we'll cook up some just chicken. I don't know how we're gonna season it or flavor it yet, but we'll get some chicken out of the freezer. And then we'll just put this in some cold water to thaw. My mother-in-law asked for some eggs and I have plenty of eggs to share. And I need to go buy a mop because my mop is really old. It was a housewarming gift when Josh and I got married and moved into our first house together from my sister. And so it has seen better days. So I thought I'm gonna go run and drop off some eggs to my mother-in-law. And while I am out of the house, I will go ahead and buy a mop at the same time. I am gonna wash the eggs before I bring them to my mother-in-law's. I know I don't need to wash eggs because there's a protective layer on them and they can sit at room temperature, but it's been raining for the last week here and these eggs have some dirt on them. And so if I'm gonna give them away to someone, I like to just wash them up, make sure they're nice and clean and they're used to keeping eggs in the refrigerator. So they'll just stick them in the fridge and they'll eat them up before they go back. So that's why I wash eggs. If I'm gonna just eat them, keep them for ourselves, then I don't always wash them until right before I use them if they need to be washed. If they come in clean, like this one is perfectly clean, then I normally don't wash it. But these ones, most of them have a little bit of dirt on them because it's been raining. just got back from running our errand and I wanted to show you this cool mop that I got. This is just, I bought it at Bymart and it's cool because it's got this container that's refillable. If you guys have ever bought one of those Swiffer ones, which is what I had before, 
you had to buy their brand of clean, there's water in that, <laughs> of cleaner, and you couldn't refill it because they of how they attached it. So I thought this was kind of nifty. So we're gonna try this out. And then I bought an extra pad, so that would be nice. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and finish out breakfast because I need to eat some breakfast this morning. Our oatmeal is looking beautiful. The Instant Pot cooks up steel cut oats perfectly. You don't have to sit over the stove and watch it. So you're just gonna mix it in. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of milk just to make it a little creamy. But you don't have to add that or you could add almond milk or soy milk or whatever kind you like. And then I have a few things I wanna put on my oatmeal or in my oatmeal. I have some peanut butter. I'm just gonna put that on there. I have some of those candied walnuts that we made for a little crunch. I'm gonna slice up half a banana. I was thinking about putting butter on there, but I think because I put peanut butter, we'll just have peanut butter. So I'm gonna enjoy and sit and enjoy this really beautiful bowl of steel cut oats, and then we will be back to get dinner going. So that two cups of steel cut oats made enough for breakfast this morning, plus five more breakfasts. Josh and I, we will enjoy this over the rest of the week and some over the weekend. I'm gonna plop these in the fridge. That's the first time I've ever made a peanut butter and banana oatmeal. And that was some of the best oatmeal I have ever had, ever. Oh no, my carrots have a little frost on them. So this drawer is too cold for carrots. So we're gonna get going on dinner so that we can have that out of the way and we can just focus on cleaning. So we're going to make a carrot salad. I think that's all we need from the fridge. Oh, we're going to make a tzatziki sauce too. So let's get some yogurt out. And I have one fresh lemon. The first thing we need to do is caramelize some onions for our rice and lentils. And that takes a long time. That's why I want to get this going first thing. The caramelized onions are some of the best part of this rice and lentil dish. So that's why I have four onions out and we're gonna caramelize a bunch of them. We do need to clean this stove, but I'm gonna cook in it first before we clean it. So we don't have to clean it twice. I'm gonna put a good amount of olive oil in the bottom of this pot, probably about a third of a cup. I think I'm gonna go down and get one more onion. I think we can fit one more onion in there. We're gonna start the lentils here, but I did cut up two more red onions to put into our pot. In our pot with just water, we're gonna add one cup of lentils. And we're gonna simmer those for 20 minutes. We need to stir this. Now that we have the rice and lentils going, I'm gonna go ahead and make up this carrot salad. I love this carrot salad. Not only does it taste absolutely delicious, but it's one of those sides that you can make up ahead of time. You can make it up even a day or two ahead of time and it stays nice and fresh. Or you can meal prep it and it stays nice and crunchy, unlike, you know, like a salad, a lettuce salad. So what we're, I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna peel a huge handful of carrots. Cause like I said, it stores for a long time. So I'm just kind of meal prepping for you know, some, I make it enough so that I'll have enough for a couple days, and then we'll have it for dinner tonight. If these were homegrown carrots, I wouldn't worry about peeling them because they're store-bought. I'm gonna peel them. I am gonna save these peels, and I'm going to throw them in a freezer bag. And next time I need to make bone broth, I'm going to pull these peels out of the freezer, and I will use these peels in my broth as opposed to using a whole carrot. We're gonna make this easy on ourselves and we're gonna use the food processor to shred up all these carrots. I'm almost thinking 
thinking I could have peeled a few more carrots, but that's okay. We're gonna get going on the dressing for the salad. The first thing I'm gonna add is some of our confit garlic that we made the other day together. Put about maybe a tablespoon of that in there. I'm gonna mash the garlic up a little bit to create a little bit of a paste. And then I'm gonna add maybe a tablespoon of honey, crushed red pepper flakes, black pepper, cumin, coriander, salt, the red wine vinegar from our pickled onions, olive oil, and that's gonna be the base of our dressing. Now we're gonna add all of our carrots. I wanna check on our onions just to make sure they're not burning and they're cooking down beautifully. Then I'm gonna add quite a few of these pickled onions to our salad. I think I'm going to dice them or slice them just a little bit more here. I'm just gonna run my knife over them um, twice. How pretty is that with the orange and the purple? And I'm gonna put quite a bit of freeze dried cilantro in there. And we're gonna mix up our salad. Our salad is perfect. We're gonna put the lid on this and pop this in the fridge. We're gonna make our tzatziki sauce before we put all this stuff away. But our lentils are part cooked now. So I'm gonna strain our lentils. And then I'm just gonna put them right back into the pot. And these are ready for when we finish making our rice and lentils. To make our tzatziki sauce, we are going to use our freeze dried cucumbers. I have never used these yet. Oh wow, they smell like fresh cucumbers. So we're gonna put maybe a half a cup in there. These are from the garden, which is really, really exciting. And then I'm gonna add some freeze dried cilantro, some pepper, cumin, woo, coriander, too much. I'm gonna take some of that out. I'm gonna take a couple cloves of this roasted garlic and some of that oil and put it in there. I'm just gonna mash that up with the back of the spoon, crushed red pepper, and some salt. I'm gonna put the juice of a lemon and take out these lemon seeds. And then we're going to top it with some Greek yogurt. And then all we do is mix this together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting away all of these spices and all the stuff I got out to make dinner. And dinner's basically set. We just need to cook the chicken and then finish the rice and lentils. But we have all of our sides, our sauces, and everything done. This is the before. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up. We've got a sink full of dirty dishes. The rhythm of a working kitchen is you mess it up and then you clean it up and then you mess it up and then you clean it up. And I was just thinking about this, that it kind of gives you a good sense of satisfaction, even though it feels sometimes like you're on this hamster wheel and you can never fully get caught up, but you get the satisfaction of making a really yummy meal, cooking for your family, and then that's okay that your kitchen's dirty. So then you take the time to clean your kitchen and then you get the satisfaction of, wow, I did a great job. Now my kitchen's clean and I enjoy being in a peaceful, clean area. And I was just thinking about that instead of looking at it as kind of being like a drudgery of having to cook or a drudgery of then having to clean, we can look at it as a win-win because we're winning by serving our family a delicious meal and then we're winning by creating a home that is clean and peaceful. Now these are the washed eggs. Like I said, when I give eggs away, which I give most of my eggs away, I like to make sure they're nice and clean so the person receiving them can enjoy beautiful eggs. I just ran out to the freeze dryer and our garlic that we freeze dried is all 
ready to go into storage. My goal is to powder the majority of this garlic up, but I don't feel like doing that right now because I just cleaned this counter and I don't have any more glass containers. So in the short term, I'm just gonna throw this garlic into a freezer bag and we'll just store it that way. 100% homegrown, home preserved garlic ready to be turned into powder when I have a minute to do it. Our caramelized onions are done. So what I'm gonna do is take out about three fourths of them and we're gonna top this dish with these caramelized onions when it's all done. And now we need to toast our spices that are going in here. But first we need to add our rice. So we're gonna toast this rice. That's one cup of rice. I'm also gonna throw in here the spices so they can toast as well at the same time. Some pepper, cumin, coriander, paprika, and cinnamon. We're gonna brown the rice and toast the spices. Now that this is all toasty, I'm gonna turn the stove off and we are going to just leave this until dinner tonight. I'm gonna add my lentils to this and I put in a few cloves of our freeze-dried garlic. We still have to cook the rice and finish cooking the lentils, but I don't wanna do that until right before dinner. The caramelizing of the onions is what takes the longest. So I wanted to have that done while we were in the kitchen and I could watch it. But now we're just gonna let this cool and we're gonna set it aside and our dinner is prepped for tonight. I did want to though make sure that I got dinner going before I completely had the house clean. When I'm cleaning, I like to try to think of cleaning from top to bottom. So by getting the food cooked, we're kind of messing up the kitchen and then we can start cleaning the counters and then taking some time to unload the dishwasher. And then once we're kind of have the meal prepped, then we can take the time to wipe the counters where we're not gonna be cooking anymore. We can unload the dishwasher and then get it loaded back up. I really do prefer to cook dinner in the morning and get the kitchen clean in the morning if I can, because that then allows me to at the end of the day have a delicious dinner and a clean house that is my goal but that doesn't always happen and it's something that i'm going to work on kind of moving forward is trying to get dinner going earlier in the day i say that but we will see how it goes we can all have good lofty goals we have made some great progress our sink is clean the dishes are running in the dishwasher. Dinner prep is done. We've got the counters clean. And now my hips are starting to hurt. So what I'm gonna do is make myself a cup of tea because I've got about two to three hours worth of computer work I need to get done today. And I think this is gonna be a good time not to try to overdo it, but to kind of take that computer time as a time to rest and relax. So by making myself a cup of tea, it'll put me in that kind of like relaxed state, I guess, and then we can get going back on cleaning. We still have a lot of cleaning we need to do. We need to do the actual deep cleaning, sweeping, mopping, and organizing of the pantry. I figured while I'm waiting for my hot water to heat up, let's take a second to tackle the stove. The reason I wanted to get dinner prepped before I cleaned the stove was because I knew I would be making a mess on it, and I did. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kinda clean my mess up. I love this propane stove, but it does take a little bit more to clean than my glass top stove. and shiny.
another thing I've been doing lately is taking a moment to light candles. And that just brings me a lot of peace and just a sense of quietness and relaxing. So we're going to light this candle. This one is pumpkin clove and it's divine. And then I'm going to light these ones just to create a really nice atmosphere for myself while I sit at my desk for the next two hours. I like to mix my teas, so I've got a couple different kind of tea here that I'm going to mix together. Even though my home is not perfectly clean and organized at the moment, just tidying up what we did, having dinner prepped, turning on a lamp, pouring a cup of tea, lighting a candle, it's just going to relax me. And I'm just going to sit here and work and then we will get right back to it. I am done with computer work. That took about three hours, way longer than I was anticipating. But now we get to get in here and do some cleaning. I want to not only clean because it's dirty in here, but I also want to organize. You can see oh, this literal dirt. It's because when they fixed the flooring, remember how we had a big hole in the wall on the floor? They had to cut into the floor and so they made a bunch of dusty mess. So we're not only going to clean, but we're going to organize some of my husband's projects. So what he's working on here is he's replacing all of the round, let's see if I can show you over here, all of the round can lights with square ones. These are the square ones right here. And he is still working on replacing all the outlets and switches to smart switches. And so some of that stuff is just around. And I think I can organize it just a little bit so that it's not so cluttery. We have these boxes right here just so that we wouldn't step on where they fix the wood. We wanted to let it cure the glue cure for 24 hours, but now it's cured. So let's get to work. So I grabbed some boxes and bags so we could put some things in boxes so that they weren't just out and about. So I'm going to put all of his square cam lights in here just so that they're in one spot and then he can move them around the house as needed. He is almost done with them in here. There we go. So one thing organized. This box has all of the switches in it. So I'm going to put these switches in here. We are making progress. I'm going to donate all of these round can lights to Habitat for Humanity. So I've got a box here where I can donate these. And now he has a box to put all of the can lights in when he's done taking them down. Sometimes it's just a matter of having a place to put things. And then our family member wants these light bulbs. So we're not going to waste these light bulbs because they still work. They're just not the color light bulbs we want for the house. And so we don't want them to go to waste because they still have life in them. So one of our family members said that they wanted them. So we are going to share the love and let them have these perfectly good light bulbs. Once he's done with the projects in here, which he is almost done, and getting this hole in the floor fixed was a huge one, then we could start thinking about furniture for in here because this couch does not fit in here and we need some furniture to go around the fireplace. But we wanted to try to button up all the projects in here before we started thinking about furniture.
done in here. Now I'm going to finish just tidying up. I'm not going to totally get rid of all the boxes in here that Josh is working on. I'm just working on making it look a little bit neater. The previous owners left an ash bucket. We had an ash bucket, so I'm going to donate one of these. This one we're going to keep. I'll just stick right here and clean off the mantle or hearth. Take care of this recycle. So it probably would be good if I had a time to vacuum off this couch, but I don't quite have time for that today because I want to get the kitchen still completely clean and organize that pantry. So we're just doing a nice light refresh on this area. And even if it's, you know, 10% better by folding the blankets, fluffing the pillows, I'm happy with that. Josh is actually the vacuumer in our family. And I know that he enjoys that. So if he wants to come this afternoon and vacuum the couch, he's more than welcome to do that. Even that little bit, we probably spent 15 minutes in here just getting the majority of the dust up, organizing some of the boxes. It's not perfect, nowhere near perfect, but it's a little bit better and that's the goal. Where I want to really spend a good amount of time and really make a lot better is that pantry. And I think we'll be able to do that relatively quickly. So this pantry, has kind of become a little bit of a catch-all because I've just been storing the canning equipment and all that garlic that we dealt with here. So I wanna just give, I mean, I think I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. It actually looks worse than it is because a lot of this stuff is gonna be really easy to take care of. This is, Just some garlic. I've been kind of putting this project off because it seems overwhelming, but sometimes it's just a matter of giving yourself those 15, 20 minutes. And when you get in there, it's really not that big of a deal because it's just putting like things with like things. This is all the elephant garlic we're gonna plant in the next couple days. So I'm just gonna put it in a smaller box to condense what we've got going on in here. take care of is this counter because this has gotten a little out of control. I'm going to put my crock pot down here with my other kind of smaller appliances, the ones that I just don't use all the time. Like my waffle maker is down here, my food saver is down here. I am going to take out my sauce master. This is something I don't think I'm gonna use again this year. So this I'm gonna bring out, and I'm gonna show you where I'm keeping some of my canning equipment. Oh, got another bowl here. So I just collected a few more small appliances. This is my rice cooker. I'm gonna put my rice cooker down here as well. And then I have this box where I'm keeping my extra paper bags and my reusable bags. And then I grabbed all my Sauce Master equipment that has just been out and about. And we're going to put all of this in the box. And then we'll get this where it's going to store long term until next year. room is the coolest room up here so I'm gonna put my sweet potatoes down here too and I'm gonna put them in just down here I'm eventually gonna go get those boxes like I have downstairs for my onions and my potatoes for up here maybe smaller ones I don't know I want to make it look cute down there but that's not for today that's for a different day I've got these walls of shelves and I'm not keeping 
all of my canning goods up here. I want to keep just maybe one or two of everything so that I don't have to go downstairs every time I want to grab something from the pantry. But I haven't quite <laughs> done that yet where I have like one or two items of everything up here. That is going to be a little bit of a process for that to happen. So we'll just work on it slowly. Now we're going to show you where I'm going to put all of these. Here's my 30 quart pot. I'm going to just put my sauce master in here so I can carry it out. I think I want to leave my electric pressure canner in here because I use this really regularly and it's so easy to use. So we're going to put that up there. So let me show you where I'm keeping the bulk of my canning equipment. In the garage, there is a little closet that used to be a bathroom a long time ago, right in here. On this shelf is where I'm keeping my food preservation equipment. We have our roaster pan, our sauce master, our water bath canner, our Presto pressure canner, and our 30 quart stock pot. I figured I'm not gonna use that stuff very much now that we're out of like the bulk canning season, I'll probably use the majority of my electric Presto pressure canner because I can water bath can and pressure can in it. And it's just so easy if I'm doing smaller batches, which is probably what I'm going to be doing. I do have quite a few more canning projects I want to do before winter hits, but everything's in the freezer, so I don't have to get to it right now. In a matter of about 15, 20 minutes, we were able to take care of this pantry and put a pretty big dent in the transformation of it. And there we have it. We've got a clean pantry. Is it perfect? No, but it is a whole lot better. I do have big dreams for this pantry. I want to, like I said, get some really pretty crates for down here, but that's just a matter of one thing at a time. So we have our small appliances here, ones that I do use pretty regularly, vinegars over there, our reusable bags, the paper bags and the reusable ones. Probably in the next few days, we're gonna plant a bunch of this garlic. We have our nine by 13 Pyrex, waffle makers back there. And I want this eventually to be onions and potatoes. But we got the counter cleared, which is great. And then we got this area organized up here. We have our KitchenAid attachments. I have two more KitchenAid attachments I need to go here, but I need to grab those. Our canning stuff, our big mixing bowls, our serving dishes, and then I do need to package up. I'm gonna put this down here. These are our green lentils. We have our einkorn flour and our emmer flour. I need to package those up. I just don't have a container for them. This is our garlic oil that's going to be gifted, and then all of our freeze-dried garlic. But as soon as I wash this Fido jar, this is the one that I just took out of that pantry. It had dog treats in it, so it needs to be washed. I'll put our garlic in there. So we still need to finish cleaning the floors in here, but it is 4.38, so I am going to get dinner going again. All right, let's get dinner going before we start cleaning this kitchen, I'm gonna turn the stove back on and I'm gonna put three cups of water into our rice and lentil mixture. We're gonna have this come up to a boil and then we will put the lid on and reduce it down to a simmer. So what we need to get to are these floors. They are just trashed. There's some carrots from earlier and we've got dust from installing this door, and dust from installing this door, and the dogs have made a mess on this bench, so we're going to just get right in. So I've mentioned before that Josh is the vacuumer and the mopper in our family. He has a very fancy mop and a very fancy vacuum, and I don't use either of those. That's why I went and purchased myself a really cheap mop. And I have just learned over the years that it's best for me not to touch his very fancy cleaning equipment because I tend to gum it up and then he doesn't enjoy cleaning anymore. So it's best that we have our own separate 
mops and brooms. <laughs> and that is just something that works really well for us. I've learned over the years. I can link his fancy mop and his fancy vacuum down in the description box. I have never used them, like I said, but he loves them and he is the researcher in our family and he has done a ton of research on them. And if it helps him want to vacuum and mop regularly, then I am all for it. I can use my cheap $20 mop. So we're at a simmer now, so I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. I'm gonna stir it, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. Oh yeah, that needs to be turned down just a little bit more. I wanted to add a gentle simmer. See if I cannot make my stove a mess again. And we're gonna put this on, and we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes. So Josh just got home, and he said he's starving. He forgot to bring a lunch. So I'm glad I started dinner. I turn this way down, our rice is almost cooked. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a towel over it, put this back on, and I'm gonna fold this towel up so it doesn't catch on fire, and that'll help the extra moisture absorb into the towel, and we're not gonna get our rice and lentils all soggy. So since Josh is so hungry, what I need to do before I mop, I did give him an apple to eat because we still need to cook our chicken. Our chicken is thawed now, and I, I need to mop, but let's get the chicken cooking. I'm not gonna do anything fancy with this chicken. I'm going to, first off, preheat my oven to 425 degrees. My cast iron is in there. I actually want it in there getting warm, which normally I don't want getting warm. Today I do. And then we are going to just clean up our chicken thighs. These are chicken thighs. And I just like to take any of the kind of excess fat off of them. Our chicken is all prepped. We could have probably done this earlier and made a little marinade for it, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and make some yummy marinade for it now. I'm just gonna put a little bit of yogurt in our bowl, some pepper. This is garam masala. This is our peach, sugar rush peach flakes that we made from making that hot sauce. These are our caramelized onions. They're showing up really dark. It's just because they're red. There was a little extra oil that separated from the onions and that's gonna have a ton of really good onion flavor. So we're gonna add some of that oil in there and some of our confit garlic. So we're already getting a ton of use out of this garlic that we made. I'm gonna mix this together. I think I need a little bit more salt because there wasn't that much salt and we have about eight chicken thighs. This is a little bit of garlic salt. Now we're gonna add our chicken thighs and we're gonna mix that in with that marinade. I'm gonna let our cast iron heat up in the oven and then once it's hot, we'll get our chicken in the oven cooking. It always seems like I clean the kitchen just in time to make it a mess again. It's just kind of like the rhythm of how life goes, especially when you do a lot of cooking from scratch. But that's okay. It means you get the satisfaction of cooking a delicious meal, and then you clean up after, you get the satisfaction of having a clean kitchen, and the cycle just continues. Speaking of, let's fill up our new mop, and let's get these floors mopped. So I'm gonna just put some of my favorite natural cleaner in here. But you could probably fill this up with whatever your favorite floor cleaner is. We're just gonna try this out. I hope this is exactly what we've been looking for. I really don't like buying those disposable things of these that go in our Swiffer one, and I don't buy them, so I usually use like a spray bottle. But this is gonna be a lot more convenient if I can just refill this. Let's give it a go. So this area over here is still really dusty. Probably should have used the vacuum on it. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, this has a perfect stream to it. Oh, this is awesome. I definitely think I bought the right one. It's funny how something so small like this is bringing me so much joy. I can link this mop if you're interested in it, but I just got this at I didn't get it anywhere fancy. Josh is gonna have to get used to putting his shoes inside a closet, because there didn't used to be this closet door. Oh yeah, 
this is so nice. I probably shouldn't lock myself into a closet. That's a little counter silly. One project we're not going to get to today, we'll get to it another day, is organizing this closet. Now this closet, when we bought this door, did not come with a hole for the doorknob. So that is going to be fixed next week because there is going to be a doorknob on here. But we are going to put some hangers up. We're going to get all this junk out of here. We're going to get a shoe rack so we can put shoes in here. But that will have to wait for another day. I generally have way too many things on my to-do list in one day. And whatever we don't get to that day, we'll just roll over into the next. So our cast iron is nice and hot. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil on our cast iron. Nope. Put that around it and then I'm going to take my chicken with this yogurt marinade I've had the rice and lentils off for a while and the rice and lentils are cooked perfectly I want our caramelized onions to warm up so I am going to just take our caramelized onions and spread them on the top. And I think I made a little extra, which is fine, because I'll use the extras in another dish. And then I'll put the lid back on and we'll let that warm up. I'll also sprinkle on a little bit of freeze-dried cilantro, just for some beautiful color and some yummy flavor. I found this technique of heating the cast iron and putting your chicken on it that way it makes the bottom of the chicken really crispy because a lot of times I keep my cast iron in the oven and I forget it's in there and I preheat it. And I just one day threw some chicken on it and it cooked up great. So that's how I figured that out. The kitchen, the house feels so much cleaner. We got the pantry done. We have dinner prepped. We have the floors clean and the candles are lit. We got the living room feeling a lot better. Is it perfect? No. I could have vacuumed the couch. There's still boxes, but it's progress. We've made progress and that's a good thing. Progress is a good thing. Any little bit counts that makes your house feel a little bit more homey and welcoming to yourself is a good thing. Cleaning that pantry makes me feel better about my house. Cleaning the floors <laughs> makes me feel better about my house. Having some candles lit, makes me feel better about my house. And that is the goal, is trying to just make wherever our home is, or our house, our home. So, I'm gonna drink some tea, wait for dinner to be done, and then we're gonna serve up a really yummy dinner. It's been a very good, productive day. Our chicken is done. I could probably let it brown just a little bit longer, but Josh is hungry, so we're gonna eat dinner. So let me show you how this whole dinner came together. We have our rice and lentils with caramelized onions, our chicken. You can see how some of it get nice and crispy. That's because we had that hot cast iron in the oven. Our carrot salad, I tasted this, and our tzatziki, and oh my goodness, is this dinner <laughs> gonna have a ton of flavor, and I'm really excited. The nice thing about this dinner is this is enough food for leftovers. I love the rice and lentils, that's why I like to make a big pot so I can eat that for lunch. And the carrot salad, like I said earlier, it lasts in the refrigerator for days and it stays nice and crunchy. So I called Josh for dinner. So we are gonna plate up some food. We're gonna sit down and enjoy a delicious home-cooked meal. I wanna say thank you for taking time out of your day to spend time with me in my kitchen as we cooked, cleaned, a little bit of organizing. We've got a lot more to do before we get this house anywhere where it's buttoned up and totally, well, for real, is anybody's house ever totally organized, furnished, decorated? Probably not, because we're all work in progress, just like our houses. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. 
If you enjoyed this video, I will pop a couple more of my videos here. You can go enjoy between now and my next upload. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, friends.